Over the last few weeks, we've shown you some of the beautiful resorts in Mactan Cebu, but today, we would like to show you something a little bit different. Located in the heart of Lapu-Lapu City, just 15 minutes from the airport, is a unique hotel that was at one point busy with guests, but seems to have lapsed into obscurity in recent years. The Crown Regency Suites and Residences in Lapu-Lapu City. Currently, the lobby is undergoing renovations, so we checked in at the little shop where they set up a makeshift reception area. Though, it wasn't much of an issue, it's too bad we couldn't explore the actual lobby. Interesting. Well, is that what do you think? Old. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit, I don't know why, of our old apartment. <laughs> yeah. Right? Crown Regency Suites and Residence in Mactan, Cebu. I chose this place because I was looking for somewhere. It came up really cheap and the reviews were good. It is definitely older. I don't know when this place was built, but it does look like it needs renovations. Let's just jump straight into the room tour so you can see what we're working with. The room's age is the first thing that stands out. It's unavoidable, but it has both pros and cons. In terms of the bed, the bathtub, and the balcony, they were all pretty good. As this is a suite, it does include a small living area as well as a kitchen. Although we didn't use the kitchen, we did use the sofa, which unfortunately wasn't that comfortable. Additionally, there's a work desk and a small television, as well as a small wardrobe. The room seems slightly dirty, but it may simply have been its age. No rodents or cockroaches were seen. So the Crown Regency suites here in Mokton are obviously suites, meaning that you have a little living room type area, so you get a couch and work area and a little kitchen back here. Actually, they do have everything you would need. So if you wanted to stay here long term, you could. There are some smells, though it's not overwhelming. It is really bad when you open the cabinet under the sink. I felt like I was gonna pass out. It smelled like mildew. It smelled bad, dude. It just looks like the kind of place that was probably really nice when it opened, but it's definitely seen better days. It's not horrible by any means, but it's not gonna blow you away. But I did only spend $30 on this place on Agoda. Didn't spend that much, so honestly, I'm really not complaining at all. One of the things that really interests me about this place is that it's not just a hotel, but it's also like a residence, so like a subdivision. And we'll go there in a bit, but all the little houses that they have here, they look really weird. Looks like it's out of like a Disney movie or like a cat in the hat. I don't know why that's what comes to mind. It just looks strange, it looks different. So along with the pool, they actually have a fitness center, which is closed, unfortunately for me. And they have uh, some kind of a diner, some kind of a restaurant. So we're gonna go check that out because we're hungry. Uh, hopefully it's open, I don't know. The pool actually looks like the nicest part of this hotel that's left. Everything else looks like it really needs renovated. The pool itself doesn't look horrible. I definitely want to jump in there later. It's really hot right now. Guys, I turned the corner and suddenly I'm in America. Actually, this like 50s cafe, it doesn't open till 5.30 tonight. So it might be our dinner, I guess. Dude, this looks so American. What in the world? Yeah, my dad would probably love this place. Hopefully the food's good at least. Okay, so I wanted to test out the shower, see how it was. We just got back. <laughs> watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Are you seeing this right now? How? <laughs> what in the world? Also, the water here really stinks. Like, I don't know, man. It's one thing to like be old. It's another thing to have like, I don't know, man. It, it just doesn't seem maintained at all. They've actually got quite a few power outlets around the room and at first glance it seems good but I started plugging into different outlets and realizing that the only one that seems to work is the one that this lamp is plugged into. None of the others I could get to work at all. So that's a thing. Because the diner was closed, we left the hotel to head to Jollibee instead. The Crown Regency is located in the heart of Lapu-Lapu City, making it a great jump-off point to explore the area. Our visit to their Gaisano ended up taking hours. You can see that in our next video. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss it. So we just got home from our little adventure at Gaisano and we're really hopeful to swim, but... It's like pouring rain, which is fine with us, but it was just thunder. Normally when there's thunder, that's when they close the pools because, you know, lightning. There is some light over there. 
so this might just be passing. Ooh. Nice. It's really nice. Oh my gosh. Wow. This bed is really comfortable. For any other problem this hotel might have, this is maybe the most comfortable bed that we've had. Mm -hmm. We'll see how our actual sleep is, but as of now, this is really, really comfortable. It's Holy just that crap. We only have three pillows. Yeah, only three pillows. We normally both like to have two each, so. Fortunately for us, the rain eventually stopped and we were able to head down to the pool just before sunset. Despite the overall feeling that the hotel is in need of a lot of work, the pool was very nice and clean. We enjoyed it quite a lot. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's cold. <laughs> ah. Oh, let's go to the bar. Let's order some french fries. <sighs> One french fry, sir. <laughs> and it might take a while. <laughs> I've never actually gotten to like eat at a pool bar like this before. And I did. You did? Where? At um, West Town Lagoon in West Mandawi. Town Lagoon? Mandawi? Oh, is <laughs> Mandawi. That the one? That's the one with the dragons. <laughs> yeah. Dude, let's stay there. They have rooms. Holy crap, dude, we should actually stay there, really. Well, let's swim. The water's clear, at least. <laughs> at least this water doesn't taste weird like the resorts did. <laughs> Tastes completely like you would expect pool water to taste. <laughs> Hi, my name's Code Lina. <laughs> <laughs> How many pizzas have you been eating? It's so heavy. <laughs> Too many milk tea. You ready for the big finale? <laughs> so we each showered and even though the shower head looks insane, the actual experience of using it isn't that bad. Like the water that's flying out everywhere is contained enough and has a good enough pressure and the water's hot, that felt good. The smell that I mentioned earlier completely went away after just like a couple of minutes of running the water. Maybe just, you know, not a lot of people are using these rooms. I, I don't know what that was about, but it completely disappeared. Wi-Fi speed test. The download is about 11. The upload, however, is just 0.7 essentially unusable. All right, we're headed to their 50s diner that we tried to go in earlier. Welcome to America, the land of the free, home of the brave. Whatever, dude. <laughs> we had never experienced anything like this in the Philippines before. How much, sir? It was decorated with vintage items from both the United States and the Philippines dating back to the 50s. This is the bathroom. They have all this like old American stuff hanging up all over the walls. It was a totally unique experience and the food wasn't bad either. We actually really enjoyed our night here. All right, so uh, going to Indiana. Where am I from? Here! I've been here in New York. Where? Where is Texas? Oh, that was far. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize it's so far. We went to New York and then we went to Texas and then Arizona. And then where? And Utah and Nevada. And California? Yeah, we did California as so. well. Yeah, look, you went the whole, all of America. Yeah. More than me. Prior to the pandemic, the guy behind the bar told us the diner and hotel were very busy, but now it's hard to find anyone eating there. We experienced this firsthand as we stayed all the way until closing and not a single other person ever showed up. It was actually pretty sad to see because we found the place to be really enjoyable. Our seat is a car. It's actually really weird, like being an American and like seeing all this America stuff, like 50s, like vintage American stuff. It does kind of bring me back. It's kind of weird. I mean, obviously I didn't grow up in the 50s, but like there's still stuff like this around that you can find in places back home. Isa has been dying to do karaoke for so long. Yeah, like two years. <laughs> yeah, like two years. <laughs> Baby shark, what in the world? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh baby shark baby shark 
Grandpa Shark, do 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 do. Grandpa Shark, do 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 do. Grandpa Shark, do 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 do. Grandpa Shark. You say you're sorry, but it's too late now. So save it, get gone, shut up. Early the next morning. What? The car. The car? That's right, guys. There's a car sticking out of the roof of this building. We actually learned last night in the 50s diner that it's not just like for show. It was a real car from the 50s, right? I guess they just cut it in half and put it up there. It's just strange, like, it does just look like some subdivision, but the way they designed the houses, it just looks really strange, like it stands out. So this is a residence and also villa, so I think some people do actually live in some of these, but you can also, like, book them to just stay in for a vacation as well. Pretty sure that's how that works. As for parking, at the moment at least, motorbikes just go here and then cars go back here. From what I can tell, they normally have a basement parking, but I think they're using it right now to store equipment and things for like the renovations that they're doing. So if you come here, maybe that'll be open. There was a bird sanctuary in there at one point, but clearly not anymore. And over here, there's like sports stuff. Like there's dudes in there playing basketball right now. The convention center. Not super big, but it's something. Brings me back to my old days reviewing anime conventions. I couldn't imagine a convention here, but it would be interesting. So we have no cash on us because we had to pay for the incidentals here. And I thought, you know, Crown Regency, they'll accept card, but they didn't accept card. You had to do it in cash. So it took all the cash I had. So we're ordered grab right now so we can eat because I can pay that with my credit card. Okay, I just found hard evidence of how old this hotel is. You ready? Number seven, please refrain from using radio cassette players as they may cause disturbance to others. <laughs> radio cassette players, Isai. <laughs> We've never had a hotel experience quite like the Crown Regency in Maktan. It's a bit older, a bit dirtier, but also calmer. This place has a peculiar charm that's difficult to pinpoint. Hopefully, once the lobby is completed, the rooms can be renovated as well. It's an interesting hotel and we would hate to see it disappear. If you are looking for a unique place that's different from most hotels in Maktan, or if you just need a cheap place to stay after flying into Cebu, then the Crown Regency in Maktan might be right for you. You can book today by following the link in the description. Keep wandering. 